Alright, here's a moment. And uh, right now I am at uh, 2D. And uh, it is uh, just into my car uh, port. So let me say, click here, charge here. Alright, I don't need the guidance. Alright, so let me find 2D. Alright. And uh, update billing profile. Let me go ahead and do that. Alright, so the billing information has been updated. So let me go ahead and click. Alright, I can hear the click. And let me, uh, you have to push, pull out. And uh, let me go ahead and uh, unplug. So now I have to go to my car and start and turn it on for it to work. So let's see here. All right, I can hear the clicker. I, I can hear the contact click. Right, right away. Yes, it worked. <laughs> Turn left onto Dutchman's Lane and then turn right. All right, I am about to get to the location and uh, okay, and there and look out where we have. There's a Tesla supercharger here, and uh, I'm about to find out. Or if I'm going to be stranded. <laughs> and uh, this is a Tesla. You have arrived at your destination. I'm going to park your at guidance is 2D. Alright. All right, so I am here in Easton, Maryland, and this is uh, Royal Farms gas station, and uh, I have the Tesla supercharger with the magic dock. That's the reason why I'm here, okay? So that's the reason why I'm here. Uh, the reason why, I, about a month ago, is it a month ago? I found out about this, like, I can, because when Tesla uh, released, uh, announced the the magic dog about a couple of months ago uh, the only location that you can find them are in New York California and that's it okay and I was planning on going to like close to Buffalo I believe there's one there but that was a 10 hour drive so I decided it's like okay I've just wait maybe plan a trip one of these days and all of a sudden I was looking at the on the app and start zooming in zooming in and all of a sudden i saw one in maryland it's like maryland it's like hold on a second one in maryland eastern maryland it's like man i gotta go and this has been in planning for about almost a month now so i just had a chance to go today and there's another one that is close to me which is in pittsburgh so i said i go to pittsburgh or I, well actually come to eastern maryland or pittsburgh pittsburgh is a little bit farther away about maybe 50 miles different from Easton so I decided to keep, uh, come to Maryland and do this so I am here and I'm parking at 2D right now and I'm about to go ahead and uh, and charge this car so right now I arrived this location okay at uh with a 52% state of charge and I estimated a range of 116 miles and I was doing an average of 300 I mean 3.9 miles per kilowatt hour so what did it say you have reached your destination was the fact it would have got yeah it was okay it was uh, it was good I, 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 won't, I won't bid it up it did well so um so right now let me go ahead to the app let me go to the Tesla app 
and uh, let's see here because I already did all the sign up and all that stuff I already signed up and uh, let's just go right here and uh, let's see so it is showing you see they got eight I mean sorry six stalls in Easton so when I click on it and it will show you all the information and uh, this is 250 kilowatt max but um, when I was looking at the plug share app it was telling me it was showing that uh, you only uh, have um, you can only the maximum speed that you can charge is up to um, 150 kilowatt so I will see if I can ever get close to that but I've seen someone mentioned something about you can only get maybe like 90 something kilowatt or so or less so I will see hopefully um, my battery the battery didn't precondition um, I guess maybe because it's, it's a Tesla it wasn't registered in the system on the, on the Kia navigation route planner so um, I will see how that's gonna work and uh, let's go ahead and uh, start this process all right here's a moment and uh, right now I am at the 2d and uh, it is uh, just into my car uh, port so let me say click here charge here all right I don't need the guidance all right so let me find 2d all right and uh, update billing profile let me go ahead and do that all right so the billing information has been updated so let me go ahead and click all right I can hear the click and let me uh, you have to push pull out and uh, let me go ahead and uh, unplug so now I have to go to my car and start and turn it on for it to work so let's see here all right I can hear the clicker I, I can hear the contact click right right away yes it worked <laughs> it worked right away look at this it worked <laughs> it worked and it's going up going up going up all the way and it's going to take 25 minutes from 53 percent to 90 percent at 97 kilowatts so the person that posted i believe he had an ionic 5 or ev6 and he mentioned the same thing that he was only able to get um 97 kilowatt 97 kilowatt so what i'm going to do is i will charge up to like uh you know what i'll charge to to 90 percent and see how it goes so um i am going to let this record and uh, I'll be right back. Actually, I'm just going to stop and I'll be right back. I'll take some pictures. All right, just so looking at the billing information right now, I already added uh, 3.1. Wow, this is fast. 3.1 kilowatt hour. And I already charged uh, 100. I will be, well, right now it is at 100. And uh, so what am I talking about? A dollar fifty six. <laughs> so um, and right now it's at fifty five uh, percent, and fifty five percent it is accurate. All right, so um, I will be back for the information. Uh, more information on this. I'll be right back. Look at what I have. I am charging my EV six at a Tesla supercharger Magic Dock right now in Eastern Maryland so and uh, everything is working good and I've been getting constant 97 kilowatt and these are charging our 2d without no issue so this is a 500 uh, volt DC 350 amps and uh, I don't think uh, there's any more information more than this but yeah, it looks like they recently just installed in, I mean, about two months ago. It's kind of getting bit up too. <laughs> so uh, right now, it's still, I have 17 minutes left. Earlier it was showing, uh, man, is it 28 minutes or so? So 
So right now I am currently charging at uh, 97 kilowatt and um, I have 7 minutes left to charge 80% and 17 minutes to 90%. Um, yeah, it, I took a whole day. Let me see what time is it now. I left home at 5 a.m. and I got here at 3 uh 320 something or so so yeah it's been a long road trip just to get here but um it, everything every bit of it worth it okay i am so excited about this that i'm able to charge my car with no issue okay for the first time no issue no charging interruption or nothing okay so i am so excited about that so subscribe to the channel for more content subscribe to the channel for more content all right so let me know what you think in the comment section all right welcome back so i just did a live on the x uh, platform app so right now i have one minute left and it is charging right now at uh 45 kilowatt i'm almost done it's been awesome there's there was no charging interruption and uh, everything works great everything works great so right now um, so I haven't get more range compared to Electro America I believe I got a little bit more range than that yeah so right now I'm getting our uh, 227 miles estimated range and I already added um 32.185 kilowatt hour and the charging session has completed so let me go ahead and uh unplug oh uh, yeah this is awesome 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 let me unplug and go ahead and plug it back in and that's it ah, i'm super excited i am super super excited i am super excited Super, super excited. All right, just to add to this, this is the charging summary and the supercharger is in Maryland. Today's date is uh, December 9, 2023. Um, and the duration took 24 minutes and 51 seconds and the total charging fee is $16.67, uh, 64 cent. And the energy delivered 32 kilowatt hour. Uh, let's see, charging history, VR charging history. This is the only charging history. So, and that's the only one right now. And uh, it was successful. So, I uh, just want to add that to that before I leave. And uh, super excited that I'm able to charge my car out of Magic Dock. So, Yes, the charging session has completed and um, I'm tired. Let me move the car to the other side. Let me just move so that I can get just the good feeling about, <laughs> about getting the car to complete charging. It's awesome feeling. It's awesome feeling. I drove almost nine hours. Because I made a stop. I drove almost nine hours just to get here because I had to make some stops. And the charging, se charging session issue I had at, um, at the Let Fire America station in uh, Richmond, Virginia. So thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. If you have a, uh, subscribed to the channel, please subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell. Um... Check out my videos. Check out the videos. They are helpful. They somehow will be helpful to you. So please watch it from the beginning to the end. If it is some session that you have to uh, fast forward, fast forward it. But please watch some of the some of the I mean a lot of the clips. They will be helpful to you at one point or the other. All right. So um, I guess that's it for the Tesla Magic Dock. Um was a success okay charging session was a success so thank you for watching see you in another video stay safe stay blessed bye bye